G'day folks. Oh, welcome to a little bit of a Wednesday night update. Just messing around with this LCD again. It is fairly hot in here so I think I might even put the air conditioning on. <laughs> and it's about to rain too so it's getting incredibly muggy. It's actually been raining on and off all day so it's very muggy today. Oh well, welcome to Australian summers. <laughs> um, yeah, had a ripper day at work, got everything knocked out pretty damn quick. Um, yeah, we're actually ahead of the curve apparently, like the jobs that we've done are all like this year's jobs and the jobs we're doing now can be go out next year, so that's even better. Um, yeah, it's good having a good team to work with, even though some people do work at their own pace, it's still just looking at the results we've had today and hearing that everything's pretty much ahead of the curve, well, it doesn't matter if you do potter along a little bit at your own pace. Because I was getting worried there, I mean, I've been going flat stick for the last couple of months like full on head down ass up flat out and some of the other guys just sort of go at their own pace like they've burnt themselves out doing what I'm doing and uh, we're still ahead of it so that's good it's really good um, yeah as you can see I'm playing with this TV again I've got T-Con completely disconnected and there's no artifacting or anything coming through the panel like it's just completely blank I mean if this was if it was pitch dark in here you'd probably see a slight glow coming through it but that's it, there's no light getting through any of the pixels. So, uh, I, if I run it with TCON disconnected, it just goes into error mode and won't do anything. So I've disconnected it up here off the tabs, which are along here. All the little tab boards. But there's a tiny little PCB in under here. And even manipulating those edges and pushing on the edge of the panel hasn't changed anything. So I don't think the panel's bad. I'm thinking the problem's there. TCON. I swapped the inverter wires for the backlights around and the problem still stayed on that side of the panel so the inverter backlight's probably fine it is dim because it's not doing much but I think this has multi-stage backlighting because there's no signal it's gone into a low um, low backlight stage whereas if I was playing a game or something it would probably crank up the backlight a bit it's, it's all um, sort of high medium low um, backlighting control smart control even the older one that I pulled out, part of 2006 one that had the smashed panel, that had a um, control for it, which I think is that one there. No. Detect 5 volt, ground, PWM, and no connection, and then on off. So there's inverter on off. It's good they put all the pinouts and things on it. That one there's probably it there. LD, FB. Yeah, see, so that's backlight control. Anyway, um, I'm just going through a process of elimination at the moment. I'm quite certain that's the problem now, and thanks to I think the Tech Knight was filling me in just before on this. Um, yeah, it's not complete panel failure. I'll cut the video and uh, plug this back in again, just to show the full symptoms as it goes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just T-Con. If I can get a board like this cheap enough, I'll fix it, because the rest of the set's in good nick. I've got the remote and everything. Whereas if it was all scuffed up or the panel was scratched and there was no remote, I probably wouldn't bother. But since this is a clean, straight out of the house and into my workshop example, I'll uh, endeavour, to endeavour to fix it. But no, I'm positive the backlighting's fine on this thing. The symptoms would go away if I swap that around. So, Or at least I'd just get a dim image because the backlight's even throughout the whole panel. Whereas if one, one end was completely disconnected, it'd just be black at this end. So yeah. Okay, now we're reconnected. Let's have a look at what this does on warm up. It's all power on. I'm still getting used to these touch things. That should bring it up. Yep. And again, you can see that side's very dark. The longer you leave it, the more these lines show up. There's three rows of lines running up and down here, and they come up in red. So it's probably the T-Con. Like, it's not just a square block or something like that, like a strip. If it was getting stripes running down it, I'd say some of the chip-on film. Um, semiconductors had gone bad, but no, this is more like uh, T-Con board failure menu, yeah you can see it in the menu, the blue background's almost gone, although it is starting to show a bit at this corner. The red lines aren't coming back though, I haven't seen them for a while. 
let it sit. But I can see a bit of blue flaring off the blue there. It's just flaring down here and starting to show up up here. You can just see it. Yeah, blue and grey this time. But then I suppose it depends on what's being displayed. Yeah, there we go. It's really starting to flare out. And pushing on the edge of the panel doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, no. Nah. Normally you can sort of manipulate that edge apparently. I've been looking at it. Quite a few people have this problem. Some people have replaced backlight inverters and that's fixed it, but I'm guessing they didn't have flaring. It just would have been dark. Not like that, which looks fine. But then you look at the backgrounding on it and it's not. Not to mention the dead bit in the middle there. And very slow fade out. That's slowly faded away. So yeah, you can see it just disappear. Yeah, that's not just a backlighting issue, that's something far more serious. If I can rule out the panel, I'll keep it. If not, it's nothing more than just a fancy display piece, really. Parts unit. Gut it, give it to some theatre company to use as a back background prop. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, if the panel's gone, it's rubbish, really. I mean, unless someone knows anyone who's got a spare panel floating around for cheap, but then panels just aren't cheap. They're usually one of the things that gets busted, either by an errant Wii controller or angrily thrown Xbox controller or mistransport or whatever. The panel's usually one of the things I find that's gone because of just breakage or failure of some of the drives in it, the um, tabs. So anyway... That's a bit of a look at bit of a look at that one. Yeah, it's got DTV. See, there we go. Now it's really flared out. If I change, I'm sure if I actually, I haven't put a picture to this yet, but yeah, whatever I do, it does not like it in that corner. I should display an image and see if it uh, changes much. It'd just be horrible, horribly distorted in that corner, that side. Okay, well it's working. Uh, as soon as I had the title menu of this DVD up there was some the bars were still there they were just very blurry and white uh, as soon as I went to the still menu it uh, well it just went away so I'll go back source menu there so there's definitely something going on in there it's probably the T-Con I mean the rest of the panel looks fine and then it just dithers over to normal brightness so, yeah, strange. And swapping the inverter wires again didn't change that from one side to the other like I'd expect it would. Um. Yeah, see, it goes away once you... Oh, even then, this background's moving and it's just gone. Strange. Don't know what the flash was before, though. Yeah, just that side's not responding properly. So that kind of proves that there's something really wrong with T-Con board. Everything else is fine. But, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. I'm going to turn the sound on and enjoy the music video. <laughs> it's pretty much where this DVD lives. It just stays in this player as a test piece. It's my Fear Factory DVD. Yeah, you can see it flaring with certain colours, the blue and the green. Yeah, busted or not, that TV's cool. I'd love to bolt it to the door. <laughs> Get rid of some of those warning signs and just bolt the TV up there. But you can certainly see the half panels bit out. <laughs> Fear Factory. been ages since I've been to a metal concert. I want to do it again. <laughs> Should do Sabaton. We'll get all the, some subscribers together in Melbourne and do a Sabaton concert. It's coming up early next year, I think. February, March next year. <laughs> okay, it's been running for a while and settled down a bit, but it's certainly a lot darker still. 
Like this spot here is supposed to be as bright as that. So it's almost certainly the T-Con board. If I disconnect one of the ribbons or both of the ribbons from the top of it, I just get multicoloured lines down the panel, which is a bit odd, but I'd be willing to try out a replacement T-Con board for this thing. And as you can see now, it's displaying a proper picture and has a signal. Oh, there we go. So it just turned the backlight down, but... Um, yeah. The backlight comes on full brightness when it's not in standby. But of course it just realised it got a standby signal from the DVD and it, it's uh, turned it off. But you can definitely see the difference there. A bit of blue fading away. Hmm. You know the joys of modern technology.